Okay guys, this is Singularity Beast Upgrades Part 4. Now don't get too excited because this is not the final video. Uh, the third graphics card still hasn't arrived. What I wanted to do was just um, show you what's been going on in the meantime. I wanted to give you a little update because I didn't want to keep you waiting for too long. Um, yeah, so this is not the Tri SLI video. Uh, it's yeah, not the final video. It's just a, a quick video that I'm going to do just to show you uh, all the parts because they have all arrived now, except for yeah, the final video card, as I said. Um, also, some fans that I'm waiting on, and yeah, just a couple of little things which I'll talk about in a minute. So. Here is all the final hardware, all ready to go. Now I'll just show you each individual part. So what I'm doing, I am really, really sick of dust. Okay, I've been having problems with dust in my radiators for a very long time. There just seems to be a lot of it where I live. So this is the dust filter that I've chosen. You know, it's it's quite thick. It's nearly 10 mil thick, I guess. Uh, but it's very easy to deal with. This just slides straight out like that. And then you can wash that. And really easily just slide it back in again when you're finished. Um, and where it bolts on, you know, it doesn't bolt through the entire thickness of the, um, you know, dust filter. It's actually, yeah, bolts on down in there, as you can see. Um, so yeah that's what I've chosen um, and then what I'm going to do is just mount these on the insides of both of my radiators so they will just sit basically sit in there like that and you know with the the filter facing towards this side so I can just really quickly and easily pull it out just like that so that's the best thing that I've come across so far because the biggest problem with these things is that they really, um, you know, with dust filters is, is that they really reduce airflow. Uh, and everything that I've, you know, tried to use so far has reduced airflow too much, like those bit, uh, bits power mesh panels and things. Um, really bad for airflow. So yeah, I know it seems a bit bulky and a bit bit of a weird kind of idea, but I think it's going to be the best thing. And I'll just show you even now. Okay, I cleaned these things about six weeks ago, and you can see how caked it is already. And it's not easy to clean. Trust me. Like to pull this apart, I've got to um, you know release it using the the quick release on this on this coolant adjustable radiator mount that I'm using um, which is easy enough but I have to disconnect the hoses, I have to disconnect all the fan wires then I have to pull all the fans off the back all the um, all the grills off this side and uh, you know give it a really really good vacuum and a brush and that's like a three hour job or maybe two hours very annoying so I'm sick of dust. This radiator up here is even more difficult because I have to get to those screws um, which is nearly impossible pull all the fans off and then vacuum the hell out of it so yeah once I get these dust filters on it's going to be a lot easier for me you know instead of being like a, a two or three hour job it'll just be a matter of um, you know ripping out those little mesh panels probably take me 10 minutes if that okay so I've also got this switch panel the switches haven't come yet um, but they're going to be like blue have blue rings around them um, they've got blue LEDs in behind them and yeah that's going to be to control the lighting instead of the military the big bulky military switches that I've got now so they'll be here very soon. Um, yeah, Bits Power 150mm reservoir, 
I've already replaced that one uh, it's just a matter of replacing that one this is exactly the same reservoir as is already in there the only reason I'm replacing it is because of wear and tear now I was going to use these Enemax Magma fans but I've actually found a better fan over 100 CFM it's a phobia fan I think it's a new one uh, it's waterproof it's uh, I think it's under 20 decibels uh, 14 decibels if I remember rightly it has black and red um, fins so it looks absolutely awesome best looking fan I've ever seen actually so I've got three of them coming and I'm probably going to use those um, up on that radiator instead of the Noxuas uh, and also instead of these that which I was going to be putting in there that is just to uh, for the cold cathodes instead of the um, crappy plastic ones that, that come with the cold cathodes um, this can power four of them which actually I've only got two of them in the system but so this will go on the back where all the cable management is um, and I'll show you all of that in the final video all the cable management and all the all the wiring for the lighting and absolutely everything so this is the back plate for the video cards so I've got three of these you know for the three video cards so one on each gonna look absolutely awesome up in there having that lovely mirror finish you know it'll match the CPU block and um, all the other silver blocks that I've got in the system as well so yeah that's an EK backplate it's a nickel plated backplate so there's the final water block for the final video card when it arrives it'll be ripping the air cooler off it and putting that on it straight away here's the new quick disconnects to replace the old ones as you can see as I mentioned in part three I've already replaced that one um, you know this upper one here and you can see the difference between the, the new one and the old one the new one's bigger uh, it has better flow and it leaks less when you undo it so I'll be replacing that one there uh, and that one there with these okay so that's basically it for now um, until the next video card arrives which will be in about a week and then I'll be making the final videos it'll probably be in two parts so the part 5 and part 6 part 5 will show uh, all the hardware uh, you know the final um, yeah, the final configuration and then part six will be all the benchmarking and overclocking Okay, so you can see I've got all those filters down there seven of them, you know for the quad and triple radiators There's the other back plates and the other fans And all my feather are coolant anyway That's about it Looking forward to getting that third video card in and um, I bet you guys are looking forward to having a look as well. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe.